What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Stadium Goods with Stranger Things, Noah Schnapp. I find it when, when two brands collaborate, it's, it makes it like 10 times cooler. Thank you for having me. Going to do some sneaker shopping today. Going to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. Yeah, can't wait. Let's go. No, a Stranger Things is based in the 80s. And you know, your style, super up to date, Gucci sneakers. Thank you. Is it tough to have style from a past era or do you enjoy it? I mean, it's cool. I get to like experience what it's like being my dad as a kid. And I mean, I got to wear so many cool different things, but there's cool shoes in the 80s that are cool now. Absolutely. Like you said, these were from the 80s. Yeah, a lot of I these. I love these. Yeah, the Jordan 1s. Right, and, right. And those are still cool. Exactly. So a lot of people don't know that you actually still go to school, even yeah. though you're doing the show. Yeah. And even when I was coming up, the first day of school, having good sneakers was a big yeah, thing. Is yeah. that still for you? Of course. I mean, these were, I remember in first grade, I, I, went, I rolled up to school with these shoes shoes and I thought I was like everyone was complimenting my shoes mm -hmm. on how cool I looked. Those were like what brought me into the whole Jordan world of yeah. shoes. It's the best feeling, right? Yeah. I remember sixth grade, 1997, I had the Air Max 97s. A long before <laughs> your time, but it's the same feeling and it goes on. Right. So you had the Jordan 3s. Were you ever really purchasing a lot of sneakers? Is it more now? I think two years ago I kind of became a sneakerhead. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. And I'm actually really excited to be here because I get to like buy all these shoes and, and I'm gonna get to go to school yeah. soon and wear these shoes and everyone's gonna be complimenting them. You're photographed wearing the Dub Zeros a yeah. lot. It's not this one, but it's very similar. What do you like about these? It's kind of like a left of center Jordan. Yeah, I mean, I love shoes that are kind of different, like that no one else really wears. And that's actually kind of why I find the Yeezys not like just because everyone has Yeezys, You're right. I find it like less cool when, when it's so popular. So that's why I'm kind of like interested in them because not as many people have them. We talked about how Stranger Things is set in the 80s. Do they let you wear your own sneakers? Could you ever wear Jordans oh, in an no. episode or it's a strict dress code? I think the only thing my character wears is like Converse. If I could wear Jordans, that'd be pretty cool. When season two was announced, LeBron Instagram, the poster, oh, yeah. and he was super excited that it was coming back. Are you a big fan of his? Is he one of your favorite basketball players? Yeah, of course. I mean, I remember like my friends just all texting me like at once, right when he posted it. Noah, did you see what he posted? Like, go check it out. And I remember going on his Instagram page and it, and, and I saw it and it's like, what? He's, he's a fan of me? That's, crazy. That's insane. You know, these are all his sneakers. What are some of your favorites of his? Of course. Um, oh, these. Okay, so these are his first, yeah. The Zoom Generation 1. Yeah, these are cool. You talked about your friends, the, the cast of Stranger Things. Who do you think has the best sneakers in the crew? Probably Caleb. Okay. It's kind of like a, a little competition between me and him when, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's we're friends, but of I mean, course. like when, when there's an event, it's always like, who has, who has cooler sneakers? And I'm, I love his shoes. He always has like the freshest shoes. I like more casual, mm -hmm. like I'll wear sneakers to a red carpet with, with a suit. Mm -hmm. And then he wears more fancy shoes. Okay. So we have different types of styles. No, I want to talk about these special collab Reebok did for oh, Stranger yeah. Things. Do you remember getting them? Yeah, I have these in my closet. I, I remember like, I remember first seeing them when when the directors showed us like for the first time they were like what do you think of these shoes we're gonna we're, we're doing a collaboration they they kind of let us come up with ideas for the shoe and stuff and I'm I'm kind of scared to wear it because they're so like white and I don't want to get them dirty did they give you an extra pair they should have at least gave you like five pairs no I have one but wow they gotta hook you up with more but what was it like to get a collaboration like that and you know something that's based around the show I find it when when two brands collaborate it's it makes it like ten times cooler Definitely. So the fact that like I get to kind of be a part of that. Is there any brands that you would love to work with? Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm an Adidas kind of guy, mm -hmm. uh, and I love. There's this brand called Kith. I'd love if I did like a collaboration with them. Maybe we can make some phone calls. I know that guy. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, cool. Noah, we are in the special trophy case. Okay. A lot of these sneakers go for a crazy amount of money. These Derek Jeters, especially Jordan 11s, $40,000. Have you ever held a $40,000 sneaker? That's, um, I don't want to touch it. That's crazy. <laughs> There's you... so many things you can do with, with $40,000. What would you do with $40,000? I'd go on a really nice trip. 
I don't think I would buy a shoe for 45000 okay. See, that's a mature answer. Everyone out there, because there are people who will buy this for What $40, makes this so expensive? Very rare, probably maybe less than 30 in existence. It's insane. But isn't it crazy that some people are willing to buy $40,000 sneakers? That's crazy. Yeah. And there's even an M&M one back there that we talked about, $75,000. Yeah. Just think about how much money that is for I like know. a shoe. Did you own any Yeezys? You said that when they first came out, you were really into them, and then, you know, a yeah. lot of people had them. But did you ever own a pair? I'm renting one for a day for my friend because I want to, like, impress this girl. <laughs> well, You're borrowing? Yeah. Okay. Basically, he has, he has the blue tint Yeezys, okay. and he's reselling them, but I'm renting them for a day because I'm gonna be with this girl I like and I wanna impress her. Listen, you are ahead of your time, my man. But Wait, where are you gonna take her? I don't know. I'm still figuring, it's two weeks from now, so I have to. Okay, I hope he's giving you a good deal. Yeah, he is. Noah, you mentioned over there that you liked the Yeezys when they first came out, but now it seems like they're going a little overboard, dropping too many colorways. I wouldn't buy them, just cause like so many people have them and it, it's different from like having like the thing over there that's so rare. It's mm -hmm. like, well, you have that, no yeah. one else has that. And it's the same thing with like everything, not just shoes, so. All right, so now we talked about a lot of things. The easy part, you get to browse the shelves, see what you want to buy. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, so after looking for a while, I think I want the off-white Jordan ones. Good choice. So your total is $2,994.06. All right, mom's gonna kill me. So your seat's in your bag. Have a good day, man. Thank you. So, Noah, thanks so much for coming through. Thank you so much. As you guys can see, left with a very special pair of sneakers. Make sure everyone checks Stranger Things, streaming on Netflix right now, and uh, good luck on the date. Thank you. What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. Be sure to check out our brand new series, Talking Shop, to see exclusive bonus content from the Shannon Sharpshoot. If you're a fan of sneaker shopping, you'll be a fan of Talking Shop. Click here and subscribe now.